Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Curse of Oak Island Preview There's gold in the wood at the baby blob. The Curse of Oak Island is back this week, and episode 15 will see the guys uncover a lot of wood while digging into the baby blob. And this wood has gold in it. This episode is called Would You Believe It? And it seems as though this week we'll see lots of fascinating revelations regarding wood. As the Duma Mining Company continues to excavate and rehabilitate the garden shaft, the Fellowship is continuing to drill into the Baby Blob, just a few feet to the west. The Baby Blob is the new smaller area that Dr. Ian Spooner identified last week, where the scientific data points to as home to a variety of precious metals that would make up a typical hall of treasure. A preview of tonight's episode appears to show the guys hitting lots of wood. This probably means they've hit another underground structure, and this one is right where they hoped, in the baby blob. The preview teased a bit more, archaeologist and metallurgy expert Emma Culligan has run some tests and she's found gold within the wood. Rick Lagina says there's gold in the wood and the water. A very excited-looking Rick Lagina announced. Now we have gold in the wood and the water. He is, of course, referencing the water samples taken from the baby blob area that initially revealed gold was buried below. And for fans who often mock the guys for only finding wood, they should bear in mind that the team is unlikely to find any treasure or vaults without first finding the wood that would enclose the silver and gold. If the guys don't first find wood, they don't find treasure. Oak Island team also explore Garden Shaft and find a new feature. Also, on tonight's show, Rick and the team get another chance to check out the progress of the Garden Shaft by heading underground. There's a piece of history on show when the guys find an old, intact handmade ladder that's part of the original work. It must be about 200 years old, possibly older. The team seems increasingly excited about the whole area around the garden shaft and the baby blob. Rick has claimed, we're certainly close to where the treasure may be. Also, on tonight's show, Alex Lagina and Jack Begley look to be opening up another area for investigation. A preview showed the pair examining a massive tree by an old stone wall. This is likely either on the newly acquired Lot 5 or a Lot 26 where recently, the guys have been doing a lot of metal detecting and examining a strange old well. The Curse of Oak Island has captivated treasure hunters and history enthusiasts for years with its tales of hidden riches and enigmatic mysteries. This season, the intrigue deepens as the team zeroes in on a tantalizing new clue. There's gold in the wood at the, the baby blob. For centuries, Oak Island, nestled off the coast of Nova Scotia, has been the epicenter of treasure-hunting legends. From stories of buried pirate gold to the tantalizing possibility of lost artifacts from ancient civilizations, the island's allure lies in its secrets and the promise of unimaginable wealth. Each expedition uncovers new layers of history and more questions than answers. As the latest season unfolds, the team of dedicated treasure hunters, led by brothers Rick and Marty Lagina, continues their relentless quest. This year, their focus is drawn to a peculiar anomaly on the island's eastern side, affectionately dubbed the Baby Blob. This term, coined by the team, refers to a unique formation detected through advanced ground-penetrating radar. The blob, appearing almost like an embryonic mass, has sparked a flurry of speculation and excitement. The discovery that has everyone buzzing is the presence of gold in the wood samples extracted from the baby blob. This finding is not just a mere coincidence, but a game-changer, pointing towards the possibility of a larger hidden cache. The samples, meticulously analyzed by experts, reveal traces of gold embedded within the wood fibers, suggesting that the material has been in contact with significant quantities of the precious metal. But how did this gold-laden wood end up in the baby blob? Theories abound. Some speculate that it could be remnants of a forgotten pirate stash, hidden away to avoid detection. 
Others believe it might be linked to the fabled treasure of the Knights Templar, rumored to have secreted away their hoard on Oak Island centuries ago. There's even talk of connections to ancient mariner cultures who may have visited the island long before European explorers. The baby blob itself is a curious formation. Its irregular shape and density differ markedly from the surrounding geology, suggesting human intervention. The team's geologists are puzzled by its composition, leading to further investigations. They have unearthed fragments of wood, metal artifacts, and even ancient pottery shards, each item a clue in the island's vast jigsaw puzzle. As the team delves deeper, they employ cutting-edge technology and age-old techniques to explore the baby blob. Ground-penetrating radar, seismic scanning, and core drilling become routine as they map out the underground structure. Every discovery fuels their determination, pushing them closer to unraveling the island's secrets. However, Oak Island is not one to give up its treasures easily. The team faces numerous challenges, treacherous terrain, unpredictable weather, and the ever-present danger of collapsing tunnels. Each obstacle is a reminder of the island's notorious reputation for claiming the lives of those who dare to seek its hidden riches. The legend of the seven must-die curse looms over them, a chilling reminder of the island's deadly past. Yet, despite the risks, the Lagina brothers and their team remain undeterred. Their passion for discovery and the thrill of the hunt drive them forward. Each clue, no matter how small, is a beacon of hope in their quest. The baby blob, with its promise of gold, becomes an obsession, a symbol of their unwavering dedication. The local Mi'kmaq legends add another layer of mystique to the baby blob. According to tribal lore, the island was a sacred place, guarded by spirits and protected by ancient curses. The discovery of gold within the wood might be more than just a physical treasure. It could be a key to understanding the island's spiritual significance and its role in indigenous history. As the season progresses, viewers are taken on a roller coaster of emotions. The highs of discovering a golden nugget or an ancient artifact are tempered by the lows of false leads and dead ends. The team's camaraderie, their moments of triumph, and the occasional bouts of frustration make for compelling viewing. Each episode is a testament to their perseverance and the enduring allure of Oak Island. In the end, the baby blob represents more than just a potential treasure trove. It is a symbol of the island's enduring mystery and the human spirit's relentless quest for knowledge and adventure. Whether the gold in the wood leads to a monumental find or just another chapter in Oak Island's enigmatic saga, one thing is certain, the journey is as valuable as the treasure itself. So, as the sun sets over the windswept shores of Oak Island, the team prepares for another day of exploration. The baby blob, with its golden promise, awaits their return. The hunt for the island's secrets continues, and with it, the hope that one day, the curse of Oak Island will finally be broken.